Hello, I'm meteorologist Sabrina Fine, and what has turned out to be a fairly nice day, although we are anticipating temperatures to get a little bit warmer until Wednesday. Today, though, close to seasonal, typically right around 53 degrees. That's exactly uh, close to where we were for this afternoon. It has been a little bit windy, though. We've had a low pressure system and high pressure closer together, and that's what brought the winds fairly high. In fact, today gusting closer to about the 33 mile per hour range out over toward BWI. But as that low pressure system moves away from us, pushing out over toward the northeast, our winds are forecast to Relax. So we'll notice even the over the overnight hours, while the winds are not going to be as high, they're still going to be a little bit breezy. That's going to keep our temperatures slightly warmer than normal for us over the evening and into the early morning hours. You can see uh, the wind forecast for us overnight still gusting occasionally around 18 miles per hour, not dropping off until we get closer to sunrise to about the 10 mile per hour range there. Nonetheless, temperatures as a result are going to continue to be warmer than normal throughout the evening. And then as we head through Monday, temperatures are going to warm up as we get high pressure moving on into place. That provides us with a southwesterly wind, allowing our temperatures to go, I'd say almost five to 10 degrees warmer than normal for the first half of this work week. The the proof's in the pudding, right? Starting you off at around 5 a.m. Temps predominantly on into the mid -fifth, mid 30s, rather, for Essex out over toward Parkton and Westminster, the Inner Harbor, going closer to about 37, maybe even tap dancing with the 40s. By noon, the lower 50s here, so it looks seasonal. However, temperatures are going to work their way a little bit warmer, especially by the time we get to 2 to 3 o'clock. You can see a lot of mid 50s coming in out over toward our Chestertown, about 54 degrees, and even through Elkton around 52. Now, Monday night on into Tuesday, yet again, we're still dealing with slightly warmer than normal temperatures to start us out in the morning and we get even toastier on Tuesday. In fact, I think Tuesday will be the warmest day of the week by noon already in the upper 50s at 58. We should cross the 60 degree line though as we head into the afternoon hours on Tuesday and Wednesday. Not really anticipating a cool down until we get a cold front, which is also forecast to bring some rain on Wednesday. So this is your commute right before Thanksgiving. 5.30 in the morning, just mostly cloudy skies for us on Wednesday. Now noticing by 7 a.m. dealing with a little bit of that light rainfall coming throughout the area, staying with us by 9.30 in the morning. In fact, it looks like as the hours progress over the day on Wednesday, the chance of rain will continue to increase, but it will be rain, not snow. So your travel impact are not going to be too great uh, considering it's not going to be a wintry precip. If you're traveling outside of Baltimore, you can notice that also around 9 a.m. rainfall coming on down throughout Tennessee and into Atlanta, but it is rain. It is not a snow event. I don't think we're going to see much as far as travel delays, which is great news. The only exception there will be out over towards Salt Lake City where they're anticipating a little bit of snow. That's Delta's hub there. Also anticipating a little bit of strong winds coming on down throughout the Denver region. So while snow will come to an end for them, high winds are anticipated that might impact some of the travel plans there. 70 forecast though for us temperatures are just increasing Monday 55 degrees. Tuesday we're right around 61. Wednesday still 60 ahead of that cold front, although increasing the rain chance to 40% with high winds. Thursday behind that front, we dropped to only 50 degrees. That is a 10 degree drop with high winds, making it feel even cooler to the skin. And Black Friday shopping only in the 40s under plenty of sunshine. Stick with us online at WMAR2news.com all day for updates on top stories and breaking news. Also for news and weather while you're on the go, download the WMAR2 app in the App Store. You can watch live radar and get breaking news sent straight to your phone. Thanks for watching. I'm Sabrina Fine. This WMAR2 News update is sponsored by Jones Junction.